Hey, what's up everyone? Today in this video, we're going to talk about uh, farming killer. I will teach you guys the route that I use, uh, the pathing, what loadout I use, what I think is most efficient. Uh, we're going to first start on the uh, armor choice. Personally, I would tell you to use this all the time, nothing else. Level 4, uh, you can bring a mag extra healing. And then uh, once you kill a killer, you want to drop this in the swap. I will show you what, when I'm in raid. Start with that. I'm going to equip it and put a salwa. That, that's it. Uh, now the gun choice I would suggest you guys to use is a DT MDR because it's very cheap. Fully, full automatic. Uh, 70k I can get one. And it's only three attachments to mod it. So it's actually pretty good. You can also use a hunter or anything. They use M61 really, but my best choice is DTMDR for sure. Uh, this is my my build that I use for that. RK2 grip, sight, SDN suppressor because it's the best right now in stats. Every, all the suppressors got nerfed. Uh, SDN is the best one now. 120k. And... After that, you want to bring one mag in your gun and one extra in your gamma or in the rig, whatever. Two bags is enough. And also, do not use anything else except M61 for killer. You can one tap him with this. M62 got nerfed this patch. Um, then they reduced the amount of pen, so it's not as good in his face. It's like M80 now. He has a level six in his face. So, one mag in a gun, one more extra. A couple of M61 extra in case. And uh, you're set, you're pretty good to go. And also make sure you don't forget the SJ6. It's a very, very important to farm killer. Because there's always different people farming killer as well. The same time as you. And you want to get their ASAP. So SJ6, rig, one gun, two mags. That's the the best loot out to farm killer. Be the most efficient. At. All right, let's jump in raid. And I'll show you guys how to do it. All right, we're about to spawn. This is an online raid, as, by the way, to show you the real experience. This is an offline. <clears throat> All right, so first thing we spawn here, use SJ6 straight away. Then you want to run straight away in the, the center of the mall. So not idea, not Ollie. Right in the middle. Gotta be careful, there can be someone spawning on your left over there. Can be people spawning on the road to your right. Sometimes they cross at the same time. You gotta be careful with that. So look out right here. They spawn behind those walls. Keep an eye there to make sure it doesn't run before you. You wanna be first. You wanna go where it says ultra right in the middle. So I would show you if you spawn guys, but if you spawn over here, if you spawn over there. Uh, over there, the padding is the same. You're gonna go in the an entrance here. I'll show you guys uh, what what you what you have to do if you spawn on the opposite side though. Alright, looks like we're okay. Nobody's here. First spawn you have to look at behind this glass right here. Second spawn right here. Third spawn in the corner right here. Careful with that. You, go, you caught me sometimes right here. Uh, it's gonna spawn over here, anywhere in the, in the store basically. Right here in the back. It can be behind the tarp now here. Careful. Also, to right. It's right here, it spawns often. Behind those, uh, the pillar and the box right here. In the corner, in the store attic. You can also spawn in here by the tank, but it's pretty rare. That one is rare. That was just a scab. All right, so it looks like it didn't spawn this time. So when, what happens when it doesn't spawn? You want to run straight away to the side. And go Sean. I'll make sure to show you guys a clip of me killing him as well. Um, so you see what to do when you kill him. How to loot.
So you run in the back of the store here. Careful for scabs. There's usually a lot here. Alright, so here it is. It's a little bit tricky for some people, but uh, you have to do some parkour, dude. Jump once, twice. Third time here, you gotta run. Up again. Next, you wanna extract there. You, you, you need no backpack. So you run, jump, right here, and then you fall and go around the ledge. Run on this. Like that. And then you extract right here. So your, your overall run should be a minute and a half or two minutes. Very quickly and efficient. Now I'll show you guys a different perspective, uh, different spawn. Alright, we're about to spawn in a second raid. Hopefully it spawns this time. Hopefully we have the different spawn as well so I can show you. Hopefully spawn the back of a Goshan. Okay, that one works too, I guess. Right now we're in uh, Ollie. We can get in from the underground here. I know I said to go in the middle of the store every time, but now we're in the side here, so it's faster to go from Ollie. You could also go in the hole in the wall over there, but personally, I prefer going here. Go straight up. Then I go through Rasmussen. You can look for graphics card on your way, so it's pretty good. Tetris as well, put in your gamma. Look quickly though, don't waste time. Just a little quick check. Alright, you wanna watch Attic here. Behind the tarp again. Not here. Killer's not here again. Alright. Unlucky. We extract again. I'll see you guys in the third raid. Alright, we're on a third attempt. Hopefully he spawns again now. <laughs> so unlucky. Got the Ollie spawn again. Alright, same thing guys. I can show you a different approach this time though. Instead of going through Ollie. So instead of going through Rasmussen and finding a graphic card, you can just go straight away um the killer. So don't go there. Go uh, this way. Then the ramp is right here. This might be faster actually to use this, this padding, guys. I just like the fact that you can check for a quick graphic card. Alright. Um, not here. Does not look too good. Not here again. Well, we're going to Fort Regas. <laughs> Alright, Fort Regas. We're unlucky, but that will happen to you guys. I could have uploaded like only moments I kill him, but I really want you guys to see the real experience how it is, the grind, and it can be shitty. Sometimes it doesn't spawn. So right now we spawn in a different place. Um, ID aside. So I'm running straight to the middle entrance. And again, be careful for people spawning a bridge. So 
Oh, we got a player here. Try to get him. He's zooming. Ooh, that's not good. I hit him. Alright now guys, you wanna avoid fighting if you wanna fight killer. I'll let these guys fight. Shit. We have only two mags, right? Don't, don't forget that, so you don't wanna waste ammo too much on players. That's killer. All right, first thing, guys, loot pockets always. First thing, put your mag in his rig, drop your rig, equip everything. If you want to get out ASAP, so always loot pockets first, equip everything. Then you want to get the fuck out. my thorax there's a scav that spawns here so you don't want to run with the uh, your thorax being low all right go straight to extraction Just like that, smoothly. And there you go. And that's how you do it, guys. So keep spamming interchange and uh, do that bad thing I just did. And honestly, you'll make a ton of money because these raids are two minutes, even a minute and a half sometimes. And uh, each time you kill Killer, you make a mill. If he has RPK with Igonic especially, so also you get a ton of key cards for labs. And uh, yeah, the best way to get your tracksuit, guys. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helped you. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think of the video. And make sure you subscribe, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.